Jake here for American Muscle, and today I've got the Borla Attack Catback Exhaust for 2015 and newer 5.7 liter Hemi Challengers without the active exhaust. If you're looking for the ultimate street exhaust for your Hemi Challenger, then look no further than this Borla Attack system. It combines awesome sound with good looks and the highest quality construction. And while it is a spendy piece, if you want volume and quality, this one is gonna be your ticket. Now, Borla is well known in the exhaust community for making some of the best systems you can buy, especially when it comes to how they sound. And their attack series is the loudest of the bunch. On our loudness meter, this one's going right at the top with a five out of five. Definitely enough to make a big noticeable difference in the driving experience of your Challenger. Now, like you heard in the clips at the beginning of the video, you're gonna get that deep, verbally aggressive note on the outside. You'll also get quite a bit more volume versus stock inside of the cabin as well. And Borla has some neat tricks up their sleeve to make it all very pleasing and eliminate that drone. So this system goes beyond just being loud. Now the attack name stands for Acoustically Tuned Applied Kinetics, which is a Borla exclusive technology that allows them to tune each exhaust for a specific vehicle application. They use something they call polyphonic harmonizing technology, which it sounds like a buzzword, but that's the point. There is no buzz. So this is essentially the same type of science that goes into tuning pipe organs. They use different lengths of pipe to control the different frequencies, thus eliminating obtrusive or dissonant sounds. So in this system, they're inside of these mufflers, which unfortunately you won't be able to see. But these trick bits utilize different sizes and diameters of pipe, perforated tube-shaped cores, and different patterns within them to make the frequencies harmonize so you get that really nice sound with the volume that you want and zero drone. Now this system also includes an X-pipe, which is not something you find in every other system. X-pipes help even out exhaust pulses caused by uneven firing orders like you find in traditional pushrod V8s, such as the Hemi. This is also gonna help even out exhaust pressure because it's gonna allow this crossover here in the middle of the flow, and all that combines with the rest of Borla's tech to eliminate exhaust drone in the cabin, and that to me is the big key here. So many exhausts might sound good, but they have some pretty terrible drone, and that's gonna negatively impact your experience of driving the car. I'm sure some of you have experienced really drony exhausts in the past, and you know that they can really grate your nerves after even just a few minutes. While they might sound great on the outside, if there's a way to avoid that drone, I'm sure most of us would go out of our way to do that. And thankfully, with this system, you don't have to sacrifice sound to get rid of that drone. Now, as far as construction goes, again, this is a really high quality system. Borla makes all of their exhausts out of T304 stainless steel, so you're gonna get excellent corrosion and rust resistance here. And as you can see, it's just a really nice piece of kit. The tubing is all two and a half inch mandrel bend tubing, so there's no wrinkles or weird creases in the metal, so all the exhaust gases are gonna flow nice and smoothly through, which is gonna allow your Hemi to breathe better than the stock system while also reducing back pressure. It also comes with these bright polished four inch rectangular chrome tips to finish the whole thing off, and this might be my favorite part of the whole exhaust. It's a really nice visual update. So from the aesthetic perspective, Borla's exhausts tend to err more so on the side of subtlety as compared to others on the market, but I don't think that's a bad thing here. The rectangular tips look awesome with the Challenger's lines, and they add to that classic muscle car look that's just perfect for the Challenger, who's looking to add a bit of that textbook old school muscle car feel. Now, as with any Borla system, or any of this quality for that matter, this one does not come cheap. This is gonna run you about $2,000, which puts it towards the upper end of the category when it comes to exhaust for the Challengers. Now, of course, there are more expensive options out there that are gonna have similar construction, but maybe not quite the same features. And of course, there are less expensive options, but they're not gonna match up as far as sound or construction. So when you look at it from that perspective, I do think you're getting pretty good value for your money here. And our customers really love this system, so be sure to check out what they have to say as well. Now, as far as installation goes, this one, like most exhausts, is gonna get a two out of three on our difficulty meter, and it should take you around two hours to get it bolted up. Everything you need, including all new clamps and hardware, is included in the box, and you don't need to cut or modify anything on the car or the exhaust itself to get it installed. 
Now, if you've done an exhaust in your driveway before, you know it can be a little fiddly just because of the lack of space, and there are quite a few larger pieces here, but this is absolutely something you can do at home. And to show you just how to do that, let's head over to the install bay right now. Tools used for this installation, 3 8 electric impact gun, 3 8 extension, 13 and 15 millimeter sockets, 13 millimeter flex socket, exhaust grommet removal tool, and PB blaster. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to install our cap back exhaust on our 2016 Challenger here. But first we're gonna watch a short uninstalled video of how to remove our stock exhaust, and then we'll jump right back into the installation. First up here, I'm gonna grab my impact gun, an extension, and a 13 millimeter socket. And I'm actually gonna remove the hanger isolators directly from the frame, unbolting them from the vehicle, rather than using a removal tool and popping the isolators out. So we're gonna keep them all in one piece, attached to the exhaust, and just remove them from the frame. So I go straight above the muffler, there's one behind it, and one in front of it by the tips. Now when you do the second one, you want to make sure you have a hand on the muffler because it's going to want to drop down a little. All right, now we can do the same thing on the other side. So now you can grab a hanger removal tool and head back toward the middle section of your exhaust here. Now on the driver's side, you have this flex tube. Directly above that, there's a hanger into the isolator. I'm actually going to pop this guy out. Now, as you're doing this, before you finish up removing the exhaust, it's a good idea to have a pole jack in place or a jack stand or something similar, maybe even a hydraulic jack, just to support the middle weight of the exhaust as you remove it. Now, if you have a helping hand during these final stages of unclamping it from the front of the vehicle, that goes a long way. So I'm gonna grab a buddy to hold the tips while I remove the front and we can drop it all in one piece. Now you can grab your 15 millimeter deep socket and loosen up the two clamps holding them to your cat pipes. So now we're gonna jump into our install. First thing we're gonna do is put on our front pipe here. You see I already got my clamps in place. I got one point in that way, one point in this way. I'm gonna take this, put this up in place, grab my 3 8 gun with my 15 millimeter and we're gonna tighten this up. So we're just gonna slide it on all the way. Slide our clamps into place like that. I'm gonna take my gun with my 15 millimeter and we're not gonna tighten these all the way, we're just gonna snug them up for now. That one was a little tight. I don't know if it's just from the manufacturer, but now we'll do this one. There we go. That was a lot better. So now we're just gonna keep them just like that. It gives us some movement then when we start putting on our back pipe. Now we're gonna stick our mid muffler on. I'm gonna start it in our rubber grommet back there and as you can see I already have my clamp on. I'm gonna slide it over here and get it in place. I got slide it onto our pipe. Leave our clamp there. Take our gun with our 15 millimeter. Snug this one up. I'm gonna just leave it snug for now because we're going we will be moving this around a little bit. getting it straight. Now you're going to want to just repeat this on the other side. So now we have both our mid mufflers on. We're going to install our back muffler here. Now what I'm going to do with this is I already stuck my, my clamp on. I'm going to get this up into place, get it into our rubber grommet, that one there. Slide it over top of our pipe here and get that started.
and then we'll, I'm gonna pull our bracket down here and then install our secondary hanger right there. So then make it easier to get this secondary rubber grommet on. I took the hanger down and if you did this on your uninstall, it makes it easier. I put it and slid it right over top. I used a little grease on the grommet and restarted the 13 millimeter. Instead of trying to work your way to get that grommet over top of the, uh, the hanger, now just tighten it back up with our 13 millimeter on our 3 8 gun. Just like that. Now we'll start tightening our clamps up and you're just gonna wanna repeat this muffler and tailpipe install on the other side. Now I'm going to tighten our 15 millimeters up with our gun and our 15 millimeter. We have two here, two there, and two up front. So I'm just gonna start back here. I kind of have everything squared, eyeballed where I want it. I'm gonna just take the gun and the 15 millimeter, start tightening our clamps up. Now that we have those two, we'll work our way back. Now the two up front. Now we have everything eyeballed and it's square and level. Now we'll put our tips on the back. So now we're gonna install our tip, take my clamp, stick it over top of our ball socket there. Get our tip in place, close where we want it. I'm gonna take my 3 8 gun. I'm gonna snug this up until I get it where I want it. And we'll get our tip right where we want it and we'll just tighten it up with our 13 millimeter on our gun. Good rule of thumb is to stand back from the car and then take a look at it to make sure it's even with the body and flush and it's also got the right angle. Now you're going to just want to repeat this same procedure on the other side and that'll wrap up our installation. That wraps up this review and install of our Borla Attack Cat Back Exhaust for 15 to 22 5.7 liter Hemi Challengers without active exhaust. Thanks for watching and for all things Challenger, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.